Hello, and welcome to Arizona State University's Big Three. I'm Veronica Sanchez, bringing you the top stories from America's most innovative university. Here are three newsworthy items you can report on right now. More expansion news out of the West Campus, what it means for future business students, a new VP set to strengthen Native American recruitment and success at ASU. Jacob Moore gets emotional about the future of tribal issues at ASU. And traveling through Sky Harbor this summer, ASU students are using art to take you on a space-inspired ride. Let's begin the big three. Number one. The West Campus is announcing the launch of a new academic unit, the W.P. Carey School of Technology, Innovation and Entrepreneurship, or TIE. New undergraduate degrees at the school include a Bachelor of Arts in Applied Business and Technology Solutions and a B.A. in Entrepreneurial Leadership. The Applied Business and Technology Solutions degree will also be offered through ASU Online and on the Polytechnic campus. The Entrepreneurial Leadership Program will be offered exclusively on the West Campus. These degrees will give students a strong foundation in becoming entrepreneurs, leading and managing their own successful businesses. The new Thai school represents the university's commitment to the West Valley community and the opportunities available to both ASU and businesses there. The new school opens in the fall. Number two, it's no accident that Arizona State University is a national leader in serving Native American and indigenous students. And this month, Jacob Moore begins his tenure as the new vice president and special advisor to President Michael Crow on American Indian Affairs at ASU. Moore's goal is to build on the solid work already in place at ASU, making higher education more accessible for tribal students with a focus on recruitment and retention. He's also eager to strengthen ties with tribal nations. The former ASU intern held back tears as he spoke about honoring those who came before him and what his new position means to ASU's mission of inclusivity. It obviously makes me emotional because I know that uh, the groundwork's been laid, you know, uh, to have that opportunity. And certainly the vision of President Crow and the, and the charter around this idea of not who we exclude, but who we include and how they succeed. Since 2012, ASU has seen a 76% growth in indigenous students, 200 tribes are represented across ASU, and 4,000 indigenous students attend ASU on campus or online. Number three, now that we're in the middle of summer travel season, chances are you'll be spending time at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. And if you find yourself at Terminal 3, check out a collection of art called Psyche, A Mission to a Metal World. The exhibit includes pieces like a metallic warrior dress, jewelry, and paintings by ASU students and other students across the U.S. Their inspiration? Space. NASA Psyche mission launches this fall, sending a robotic spacecraft to Psyche, a metal-rich asteroid that could provide clues into the formation of planets. The works of art are part of a national celebration of the ASU-led Psyche mission through creative expression. So far, the Psyche-inspired program has included 91 students from 43 colleges. The next cohort will be announced later this month. That's ASU's big three stories. Want to use our video? No problem. Just credit Arizona State University. And if you'd like to schedule an interview to cover stories featured here, we can help. ASU has more than 800 experts you can talk to on deadline. Just click on the Media Relations and Strategic Communications page and look for an expert or reach out to me. If you're looking for press releases or statements from the university, you can also find them on this page. Finally, check out the ASU News Twitter page daily for stories and updates. That does it for ASU's Big Three. Thanks for watching and forks up.